hello children on your screens you will see a picture do you know this man yes you are correct it is mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi was born on 2nd october 1869 he was a lawyer by profession who employed non violent resistance to lead successful campaign for india's independence from british rule mahatma gandhi was born and raised in a hindu family in gujarat at the age of 22 in 1891 he became a lawyer he moved to south africa in 1893 to represent an indian merchant in a lawsuit he went on to stay in south africa for 21 years it was here in south africa that gandhi raised a family and first employed non violent resistance in campaign for civil rights in 1950 at the age of 45 he returned to india the period from 1920 to 1947 in the indian freedom movement is known as the gandhian era after the death of lokmanya tilak in 1920 the reins of national movement went into the hands of mahatma gandhi he gave a new direction to the freedom movement with the principles of truth non violence and satyagraha because of his leadership the national movement became more inclusive which means people from all walks of life participated in the national movement it was not limited to a certain class or caste or religion gandhi chain south africa south africa was a british colony many indians had settled there the indians in south africa were treated badly by the british in 1906 the government declared that it was compulsory for the blacks to carry an identity card and the freedom was restricted gandhi ji followed the path of satyagraha against the injustice and gained justice for the people gandhi ji in india gandhi ji returned to india on 9th january 1915 on suggestion of gopal krishna gokhale he made a tour of the entire nation he was deeply affected looking at the misery and poverty of the people he took up the vow of service to the nation he stayed at the sabarmati ashram in ahmedabad he followed a technique called satyagraha to gain justice for common people so what is the satyagraha satyagraha means insistence of truth its objective is through patience and satyagraha an unjust person is made aware of truth and justice and bring transformation of views of this unjust person satyagraha never uses violence and untruth means impact of satyagraha not only in india but in many parts of the world people adopted the path of satyagraha to fight against injustice gandhi ji's path of satyagraha made an impact on martin martin luther king who was struggling for the rights of the blacks in america as well as on nelson mandela in south africa now let's see different satyagrahas that mahatma gandhi undertook The first one is Champaran Satyagraha. Champaran is in Bihar. Now here the farmers were forced to cultivate indigo, and they had to sell this indigo at a fixed amount. Gandhi ji went to Champaran in 1917 
and launched agitation by following the way of satyagraha gandhiji's first war of independence in india became successful and the farmers were given justice the next is kheda satyagraha kheda is a district in gujarat your farmers were forced to pay taxes in spite of crop failure gandhi ji suggested that the farmers should refuse to pay the tax the farmers began the movement in 1918 and gandhi ji was made the leader of this movement within a short period of time the government was forced to suspend the tax next is workers movement at ahmedabad during the first world war there was a great inflation inflation means there was rise in prices mill workers demanded rise in their salary but the mill owners did not accept this according to gandhi ji's advice the workers went on hunger strike finally the mill owners had to back off and the salary of workers was increased satyagraha against rolat act there was a growing unrest among the indians regarding the increasing prices taxes etc to suppress this discontent and to suggest measure, measures about it a committee was appointed under sir sydney rolat according to recommendations of this committee a law was passed without taking into consideration the views of the opposition who was the opposition the indian members in the central legislative assembly was the opposition this law was passed on 17th march 1919 now why were indians opposing this act this act gave the right to the government to arrest anybody without any warrant or imprison without any trial any appeal against punishment given under this act was not allowed the indians called this act as black act gandhi ji launched a satyagraha against it on 6th april 1919 he appealed to the indians to follow hartal all over india against the act the jallianwala bagh massacre the movement that started against the rolat act took a very aggressive form in the province of punjab amritsar became the main center of this movement the government used a number of measures to suppress this movement gandhi ji was not allowed to enter the province of punjab general dyer issued orders to ban public meetings in amritsar important leaders like dr satyapal and dr kichlu were arrested for their involvement in amritsar hartal case as a protest against this on 13th april on baisakhi day the people of amritsar assembled at a place named jallianwala bagh now in spite of there being a ban on public meetings people gathered at jallianwala bagh now this place was enclosed from all sides and it had only one small gate general dyer came to this place with armed force he closed down the only gate and without giving any prior notification to the disarmed innocent people he ordered his soldiers to open fire 1660 rounds were fired the army continued firing until the ammunition or the bullets were over 400 people including men and women were killed many people were wounded after this curfew was imposed and hence immediate treatment to the injured could not be made available in punjab military law was enforced and many people were sent to jail
All over India, there was protest against this act. Rabindranath Tagore gave away the title of Sir given to him by the British government. Indians demanded for inquiry on this massacre. Hence, the British government was forced to appoint the Hunter Commission. Next, we see something called the Khilafat Movement. The ruler of Turkey was considered a religious leader by Muslims all over the world. British assured Indian Muslims that after First World War, the Khalifa's empire will not be harmed. Now, this assurance was given to them to get their support in the war. However, after the war, the English government did not honor this promise. The movement started by the Indian Muslims to support Khalifa was called Khilafat Movement. Gandhiji supported this movement and saw this as an opportunity to foster Hindu-Muslim unity. We come to non-cooperation movement. Now, why this movement was started? Now, there was a belief that the British government in India is dependent only on the cooperation of the Indians. So if the Indians do not cooperate with the British government, the British government will collapse. So with this intention, this movement was started. When it was started in 1920, in the Indian National Congress session held at Nagpur, it was proposed by Chitranjan Das, and the leader of this movement was Mahatma Gandhi. The programs under this movement was boycott government offices, courts, foreign goods, government schools, and colleges. Progress of non-cooperation movement. Many lawyers like Motilal Nehru, Chitrandan Das, etc. boycotted the court by giving up their practice. During this period with the boycott of schools and colleges, the scheme of national education was started. Many national schools, colleges, and universities were established. There was boycott of elections and bonfire of foreign clothes were seen in many places. Due to this, import of foreign clothes decreased. In the year 1921, the Prince of Wales came for a visit. He was welcomed everywhere by organizing hartals. Lonely roads and closed shops welcomed the prince. The movement spread from the planters in Assam to rail workers in Bengal. Now, during non-cooperation movement, the farmers of Mulchi Taloka in Pune district launched Satyagraha against the government. Senapati Pandurang Mahadev Bapat led the Satyagraha and for this he was punished with six years of imprisonment. Now the non-cooperation movement was suspended on 12th February 1922. Why was this movement suspended? One officer and 22 policemen were killed. How were they killed and when were they killed? when it was in February 1922, where in Chauri Chaura, Gorapur district of Uttar Pradesh. Why were the police killed? The police had opened fire on a peaceful procession at Chauri Chaura. Because of this, the people were angry and they set fire to the police station. Post non-cooperation movement. Gandhiji was arrested in March 1922 because he wrote three anti-national articles in Young India. A court was set up at Ahmedabad and Gandhiji was sentenced to six years of imprisonment. However, soon he was released due to health problems. Gandhiji, along with non-cooperation movement, had started other constructive programs like Swadeshi, Hindu-Muslim Unity, 
prohibition of alcohol, removal of untouchability, popularized use of khadi, national education, etc. As a result of this program, the national movement became more comprehensive and it spread to rural areas as well. Swaraj Party. Now, who were the leaders? Chitranjan Das and Motilal Nehru. When? In the year 1922. Why was this party formed? Because they wanted to contest elections and obstruct the work of the British government from within. What was the result of forming this Swaraj party? In 1923 elections, many members of Swaraj party were elected in Central Legislative Assembly and Provincial Legislative Council. And who were these leaders? Motilal Nehru, Madan Mohan, Malviya, Lala Lajpat Rai and N.C. Kelkar. What was the work done by Swaraj party? They opposed the unjust policies of British. They demanded responsible government should be given to India in future. Resolutions like release of political leaders from the prison, call for round table conference were passed. However, the government rejected most of these resolutions. Next, we come to Simon Commission. What was this commission? Commission under chairmanship of Sir John Simon to satisfy the growing discontent against the Montague Chelmsford Act of 1919. Why this protest was started against Simon Commission? Because there were no Indian members in the commission. The slogan used was Simon Go Back. What was the result? Whenever the commission went anywhere, people made demonstrations against them. What was the British reaction to this? There was Lati charge on demonstrators. Saunders, a police officer, attacked Lalaji with a Lati. Lalaji died within days of the attack. Lala Lajpat Rai said, Every blow on my body will prove a nail in the coffin of the British Empire. Nehru Report. Now, why this report was created? Birkenhead, Secretary of State of India, criticized that the Indian leaders cannot draft a unanimously accepted constitution. Unanimously means something that everyone agreed on. Who formed or who created this Nehru report? An all-party committee was formed and Pandit Motilal Nehru was the chairman. What was there? What were the proposals in this report? To establish self-government in the colonies of India, implement adult franchise system, which means voting system, linguistic division of provinces. And what was the result? By the end of 1929, an indication was given that if the Nehru report is not accepted by the government, then the civil disobedience movement will be started. Demand for Purna Swaraj. The objective of Indian National Congress of Dominion status was not acceptable to many young members. Now, what is Dominion status? It was a term used to signify or used to refer to a semi-independent commonwealth, which means that India would not be completely independent of British rule. So the young leaders were not happy with this demand. Young leaders like Pandit Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose demanded complete independence, that is Purna Swaraj. In the Lahore session of Indian National Congress, resolution of attainment of complete independence was passed. On 31st December 1929, Pandit Nehru unfurled the tricolor flag and a resolution was passed in which 26th January was declared to be celebrated as Independence Day. 
On 26 January 1930, people took the pledge of carrying out the freedom movement with non-violent means for attainment of independence of India. So children with this, we complete explanation for this lesson, non-cooperation movement. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and take care.